Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got seven MLB games coming your way for the Tuesday night slate. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. Any questions, fire away. Smash that like button if you're liking the content, guys, as we got first game up. Happy hour special here, 640 Eastern time. Tampa Bay Rays, Philadelphia Phillies, Citizens Bank Park, Ranger Suarez, the lefty going for the Phils, Taj Bradley going for the Rays, seven and a hook being the total, minus 160, that's the Phillies as the home favorite, 85 wins on the, on the season, one of the best records in all of baseball, they're also 47 and 25 at home, I'm not looking to go against the Phillies, but laying 60 cents here with Suarez on the hill does bring in some questions. The 29-year-old Venezuelan, solid numbers overall, sub-3 ERA, 3 fit. But he hasn't been as great recently, and he had a huge velocity drop last time out against the Marlins. He wasn't even throwing 90 miles per hour. So big questions here with the Phillies starter. He's also just 2-5, and five, his last seven decisions. He's going up against Taj Bradley here. Also big questions from the starter for the Rays. First off, they've lost eight of the last nine times he's taken the bump. In his last seven starts, he's 0-6 with a 9 ERA. That's 35 earned runs in his last 35 innings pitch, giving up 47 hits. Now he's going up against the Phillies offense, which is one of the hottest in Major League Baseball, guys. With these big questions at the starting pitching angle, with this Phillies lineup, also, the Phillies bullpen, you know, mediocre at best. I think seven and a half is too low. We get a hitter's ballpark. Let's get up and over to start us off. Rays and Phillies. Atlanta and Washington. Next game up, 645 Eastern time. Ronaldo Lopez, the slated starter for the Bravos, up against Mackenzie Gore, the lefty for the Nationals. Total of eight, minus 155. That's Atlanta as the road favorite. 78 and 65. That's the Braves record. Nationals just sitting at 64 and 79 on the season. They're also just one and four. The last five times Mackenzie Gore has taken taken the hill here. He's kind of a tough handicap, though, because he has been up and down, and he's actually put together three straight decent starts going six innings, two earned runs or less. Ronaldo Lopez, the starter here for the Braves. Two flat ERA, 136 to 42 strikeout to walk ratio. The 30-year-old Dominican has been very good. Last time against the Nationals, six innings, just one earned with seven strikeouts, only three hits given up. Braves is the only side I can get after this, guys. Not a best bet by any means because of the 55 cents as the favorite, but uh, Braves over Nationals for our second matchup. Heading to Fenway Park up next to the 7 o'clock Eastern hour. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Cutter Crawford on the hill for the Sox. Albert Suarez going for the O's. Total of nine. Red Sox minus 110 home favorites. 72 and 74 the Sox. Baltimore up 20 over 500 right now. 82 and 62. Just one game back of the Yankees. Second best record in the American League. Also been Road Warriors, 11 games over 500 on the highway. They got Suarez on the hill here, the 34-year-old Venezuelan. Kind of a cool story. You know, he made it to the show, then a long time in the minors, then back up into, into MLB. Decent numbers, but he has given up uh, what he, he – his last time out was a question, though. Six earned runs and just four innings against the White Sox. That's not very good. However, if you're looking for the positives, his last time against the Red Sox, he went six innings blanking them with six strikeouts. That's great pass performance. He's up against Cutter Crawford here, four ERA, four six FIP. He's been decent recently. He's kind of corrected some issues. The thing here, though, the Red Sox lineup has been quite cold, and they're up against the Orioles, which is one of the best lineups in all of baseball. They've also smashed righties. Getting a plus price with the Orioles, that's the way I'd attack this one, guys, in Fenway. It's Baltimore plus 100, wrong team favored over the Red Sox. 745 Eastern up next, St. Louis. It's Cincinnati at St. Louis. Andre Palante on the hill for the Cardinals. Rhett Louder on the hill for the Reds. Reds have won five of seven. And by the way, there's no total or side out just yet. I'm, I'm doing the video on Monday night going into the overnights right now. So not sure 
why there isn't a line out yet, but I'll break it down for you and give my opinion as louder. The starter here for the Reds, 22 year old, former first round pick out of Wake Forest. He's he's in his rookie season. This is just his third start of his career. He's pitched 10 innings, one earned run, although he has eight walks. That's kind of alarming, but still only giving up one earned in 10 innings is not bad for a young pitcher. He's up against Andre Pallante. I actually have Andre Pallante as look to bet on in my notes. He's got a four flat ERA and FIP. His last time versus the Reds, five and a third, blanking the Cincinnati lineup. And actually, he's faced them twice. He's got a total of 12 innings, not letting up one earned run just yet. Only eight hits. So great pass performance there. The Reds lineup has been pretty quiet. They've struggled against righties, guys. The only way I would look to bet this one is on the Redbirds over the Reds. Next one up, also no line out just yet in the overnights, but it's the Mets and the Blue Jays, 707 Eastern, north of the border. It's Chris Passett going for the Jays. David Peterson, the lefty, going for the Mets. If you've been watching the show, he's been our golden goose talking about Peterson. This guy has been absolute money, 9-1 and one his last 10 starts. The Mets have won each of the last six times he's taken the hill. The former first rounder out of Oregon, 2-7 ERA, seven straight starts with two earned runs or less. He is bet on only, guys. He's up against Chris Bassett here, who just gave up 10 hits his last time out against the Phillies, the 16th rounder out of Akron, the former zip. I think he's going to have a tough time against this Mets lineup. They've also lost five of their last six. Talking about the Blue Jays here, they've struggled against lefties, and there's a Mets bullpen advantage. So as long as it's not too high, which it might be a little bit juicy, but still, if it's under minus 150, let's list Peterson as the starter. Jump on the Metropolitans over the Blue Jays. On to the 8 o'clock Eastern hour up next, AL West matchup with the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. Osvaldo Vito on the hill for the A's up against Spencer Arigetti for the Strohs. Astros heavy home favorites here, minus 180. Eight and a hook being the total. Oakland does come in 20 games under 500, and they're just 26 and 43 on the road. But, however, just talked about their record. They are plus one unit on the season, meaning even though they haven't been winning as many games, they've been getting plus prices and cashing. They're up against Houston here, who's 11 games over 500, yet minus six units on the season, meaning they're having to lay a bunch of juice throughout the year. And they've been money burners. However, they have been good at home, 41 in 30. Interesting handicap here, guys. But uh, Beto, the Oakland starter, he's a second-year guy. He was a Dominican-born pitcher. 43 hits in 63 innings pitched this season. That's very good. He hasn't given up many hits at all. No more than two earned runs since the month of July. So he's put together some great starts of recent. He's up against Spencer Arigetti here, the 24-year-old out of uh, Louisiana, the raging Cajun. His last time out, he didn't make it out of the first inning, giving up nine runs in three walks. Also, the last time against this Oakland A's lineup, which has been kind of sleeper at times, seven hits, four earned, and only three strikeouts in six innings. The Oakland A's lineup over the last two weeks is a top five lineup in MLB. They're catching plus 165. I don't love going up against the Astros, but if you're looking for a big underdog, I think the big dog is barking in this one. Athletics plus 165. Risk 100 to win 165. Got one game left. It is a nightcap in Seattle starting at 940 Eastern. But a reminder, if you could comment below, any questions, fire away. It helps out the algorithm, where you're watching from, what you're looking to bet. Anything is welcome, guys. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. We got premium picks, wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin, as well for the Tuesday selections. All right, last game on the card here, 940 Eastern, 640 Pacific time. San Diego Padres, Seattle Mariners. You Darvish on the hill for the Friars. George Kirby going for the M's. Pick them price tag, minus 105 on each side. Total of seven. The Padres come in 81 and 64. The Mariners just two games over 500. Both teams second place in their respected divisions in the West divisions in the NL and the AL. Padres have been a great bet. Plus eight units on the season. Also been road warriors. 
12 games over 500 when playing outside of Petco. They have you Darvish on the hill. This is the unique part of the handicap. It's just his first start back since the month of May off the IL. So there's really not a lot to go off of. I will say the velocity was there. He did give up three runs against the Tigers with a, giving up one bomb. Uh, it's kind of like a so-so start, I would put it, but it's his second time back, and he's up against the Seattle Mariners lineup that has been hot recently, but overall, they aren't one of the more talented lineups in Major League Baseball. He's up against George Kirby here for the M's. Up and down, really, this season. And in, in more recently, he hasn't been that great. 6 ERA, 6 FIP in his last five starts. He's actually given up 36 hits, his last 26 innings. And now he's going up against the number two lineup against righties in all of baseball. I actually like the Padres here, guys, at the pick and price tag. And the last reason why, maybe the most important schedule spot wise, this is the first game home off of a 10 game three city road trip for the Mariners. So that's that's kind of a fade spot for me. I like the Padres here. Road Warriors listing Darvish as the starter. Minus 105, pick the winner. We're on the Padres over the Mariners to end the Tuesday slate. We got uh, in recap here, guys. Oakland A's over the Houston Astros. Big underdog barking, plus 165. The Mets with Peterson on the hill over the Blue Jays. We're taking the Redbirds over the Reds. Andre Palante on the hill for St. Louis. Baltimore Orioles plus 100 over the Red Sox, Atlanta Braves minus 155 over the Nationals, and the first game we talked, it's Rays and Phillies up and over the seven and a hook. Five dollar Tuesday at wagertalk.com. Best bet up and available. Drew Martin, guys, thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button. Comment below. Cash those tickets.